you don't ever wish something like that to happen. Um, but if it does happen, you want to be the crew that responds. Right now at 11, a story of pure heroics as some people's worst nightmare became a reality over the weekend when a car went over the Dames Point Bridge landing in the water below. Thank you for joining us on this Monday night at 11. I'm Anthony Austin, my co-anchor Heather Crawford, bringing us tonight the unbelievable rescue story. Heather. Anthony, it truly is incredible. We have a new video tonight that shows the moments a Jacksonville firefighter was lowered down from the bridge into the river. And today I spoke with a firefighter who pulled that driver to safety. Stranded in the St. John's River, a 27 year old man was on the roof of his car when Captain Philip O'Reilly with Station 30 got to the scene. The chief and I spoke and uh, decided with the uh, depth of the water and the, and the uh, possibility of the boats maybe not getting in there that it would be best to uh, have me go over the side on the two lot lowering system. The driver ended up in the water after a crash in his car over the concrete barrier of the Dames Point Bridge. Fortunately, the water there was only about five feet deep. That's actually my first time uh, being on the end of the line going over uh, any kind of uh, obstacle like that. Uh, we train for it uh, consistently. Firefighters worked together to lower Captain O'Reilly over the bridge into the water so he could put a harness on the driver. What did he say to you when you got down there? When I got down there, it was really just, you know, thanking me that, that you know, that I was there to help him. We just kind of talked to each other and just, you know, try to keep him calm and, uh, hooked them up in the harness and, and out we came. Crews used a ladder to lift them both up onto the bridge. The rescue operation from start to finish took about 23 minutes. They had just trained on it a few shifts before because the captain and his crew were so proficient in what they did. They had the rescue bay before our special operations team got there. And that's a credit to the men and women here at 30 and the men and women on our special operations teams that um, they go out and do this extra training all the time to make sure that we're ready you know, they were ready to respond to these type incidents. Do you consider yourself a hero? No, ma'am. That is just we're, we're just doing what we were trained to do and doing our job. Some brave men and women with the JFRD. Now, despite his car going off the bridge, the driver only had minor injuries. Now, the question I've not yet been able to answer is how the driver was able to get out of his car. The fire department just was not sure, but I always carry a little hammer like this in the car with me. So if you are submerged in water, you can quickly break out your windows. If that ever happens to you, these little hammers cost less than 10 bucks. Anthony.